The next thing we want to do is actually display the profile of the user. So what we're going to be doing is creating the view for this and we're going to be displaying the image, the name and the profile for that particular user. So let's go ahead and create that view. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder called the profiles folder and in this folder I'm gonna have every view that concerns the profile page so the first one there obviously would be the profile that blade that PHP and obviously if we're gonna be displaying the profile we we can as well go ahead and set up our controller for the profile so I'll just go ahead and say PHP artisan make controller profiles controller okay that's done. So if I go ahead to my profiles controller, I'll go ahead and set up a method. And this method is simply going to return that particular view. So return the view profile. Start profile. And uh, the next thing we want to do is actually set up a route for this particular profile in our routes file. So first of all, we need a route group so that this particular route would only be accessible to, would only be accessible by users who are authenticated. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we'll set up our route group and this group will be protected by a middleware and this middleware will be the auth middleware, making sure only authenticated users can can access this route. So we'll pass in a closure and the first route that we want to set in there will be a get and this is going to get us the slash profile route. So we'll say slash profile. And the next thing we're going to accept there for the profile route is the slug. So in order to, to view your uh, profile, we need to pass in the slug and uh, this is going to receive an array. And the first index here is going to be the uses and it's going to use the profiles controller uh, index method. So in my profiles controller, my view is set up. And what I would like to do, obviously, is to review re to receive the slug right here. And what we are going to do with this slug is actually find a particular user who owns this slug. So we're going to say user where the slug in the users table is equals to the slug that has just been passed in from our routes file and we're just going to get the first user and uh, we're going to assign this to a variable called user and uh, for us to use that let's go ahead and import a user okay so that's ready and the next thing we actually have to do is just pass in this with our view. So we're just going to say pass in a variable called user and we're going to say pass in that variable to be and let the data in that variable be our user variable that we just got our user data that we just got right here. So the next thing we actually want to do is set up our profile controller and first of all this is going to extend our basic view which is in the layouts.app and the next thing is to define a section called content. Okay. So stop. Okay. So let me go ahead and see how my layouts. So in my app.blade.php, it's yielding content immediately after the navigation. So I can go ahead and set up a container. So I set up a container and in this container I'm just gonna have a div of column large four and this is where I'm gonna set up my profile. So I'm just gonna have a panel it can be whatever panel and uh div that panel. And this I'm just gonna output the user's name right here and I'm just gonna say this user's profile so 
so in the diff the panel body I'm gonna have the avatar but let's see what we have so far so for me to visit that view I'll have to go to the profile and uh, pass in the slug of my name and that gives me exactly what I expect okay so obviously we want to create a route so that the particular user who is authenticated can access his own profile so what we're gonna do is actually just head over to the app.blade.php which is the layout file and we're gonna set up a new we're gonna set up a new route we're gonna set up a new anchor tag so here we're gonna have a list item and uh, this is gonna head over to a route and we'll call this route profile and the slug is what we're gonna pass in as a parameter and this is simply gonna be the authenticated users user slug okay and we're just gonna call that my profile and the one thing we would like to do is actually wrap this in an if statement because this actually navigation is not used only by authenticated users it means if a user is not authenticated and we let it try to display this route it's gonna give us an error so we're just gonna say if auth check and this method is simply gonna check if the user is authenticated and uh, if the user is authenticated we're just gonna display that link right there okay so we can now assess my profile if i go ahead and refresh and if sorry if we go ahead and refresh the route profile not defined okay that's because i didn't define the name of the route right here so i'm just gonna say as profile okay so that works so if i go ahead and click my profile it can take me to my profile my profile okay that works okay so the next thing we want to do is actually display our image from storage so in our profile.blade.php what we want to do is actually display our image from storage and uh, this will be in an image tab and the stop the source of this is gonna be storage URL and we're gonna pass in the user avatar okay and uh, I'll just like to define a width of maybe seven pixels height seven pixels and uh, a little star of border radius 50% that should make it round but if you go ahead and check that we wouldn't have an image and why is this first of all images of files stored in our storage directory are not supposed to be accessed by the internet that's the whole point of storing images right here so that they are protected so we can't actually access them without giving permission to be accessed okay so first of all we are passing a u we are calling a url method and this method actually just gives us the full path to the storage directory and by default if you check in your configuration and you go ahead and check your file systems.php you discover that the storage route for your local disk is the app so we don't need to reference the app directory when we are passing it as a url that's why the url of the user is saved in the public defaults avatars directory so what are we doing here we're passing in a url and this url method is simply going to generate the full path to the image which is found here and the next thing we're doing the next thing we want to do is actually run a command that is going to make everything in the public directory accessible to us by our application so if i go ahead and run php artisan storage link okay so the public storage directory has been linked if i go ahead and refresh i should see my image right there so what is happening first of all we stored our default images for the user in our storage directory and we made sure that we stored it in our public directory so 
every single thing in the public directory is now accessible by our application because we run a command called php add some storage link and if you check in your public directory you have a new directory called storage okay so so if you want an, a file to be accessible by your application all you're just gonna need to do is actually store that file in your storage directory and link it once you link your storage to your public every file that you put in your public directory is automatically accessible by your application